Tepuis, the striking tabletop mountains found in South America, have long captured the imagination of explorers, scientists, and nature enthusiasts alike. Known for their flat summits, steep cliffs, and unique ecosystems, these geological wonders are shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Tepuis are remnants of a vast sandstone plateau that formed approximately two billion years ago during the Precambrian period. Over time, erosion shaped the landscape, leaving behind isolated tabletop mountains with flat summits and vertical cliffs. These geological formations are predominantly found in the Guiana Highlands, a region that spans parts of Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana. The word Tepui is derived from the indigenous Pemon language and means house of the gods, reflecting the awe these mountains inspire. The most famous Tepui is Mount Roraima, which straddles the border between Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana, and reaches a height of 9,200 feet or 2,800 meters. One of the most fascinating aspects of Tepuis is their unique ecosystems, which have evolved in isolation due to their inaccessible nature. The flat summits of these tabletop mountains are home to a wide array of plants and animals found nowhere else in the world. These ecosystems are often compared to islands in the sky due to their isolation and distinctiveness. The flora found on Tepuis is characterized by a high degree of endemism, with many species adapted to the harsh conditions of the summits. These plants, such as the carnivorous pitcher plant, often exhibit unique adaptations to survive in nutrient-poor soils and withstand heavy rainfall. The fauna is equally remarkable, with many species being endemic to specific mountains. These isolated ecosystems have allowed for the evolution of species such as the Roraima black frog and the pebble toad, which are found only on the summits of particular tepuis. Tepuis hold great cultural significance for the indigenous peoples of the region who view these mountains as sacred spaces. Many local myths and legends revolve around the tepuis, and they continue to play an important role in the spiritual lives of the people who inhabit the surrounding areas. In recent years, the mountains have garnered attention from the scientific community, conservationists, and ecotourists, all of whom are drawn to the unique ecosystems and geological formations. The fragile nature of these ecosystems has led to increased efforts to protect and preserve these natural wonders, as they are vulnerable to human impact. Ecotourism has emerged as an important tool for promoting conservation and raising awareness of the significance of Tepuis. However, Striking a balance between protecting these ecosystems and allowing access for scientific research and responsible tourism remains a challenge. Tepuis, the enigmatic tabletop mountains of South America, are geological wonders that offer a glimpse into the ancient past and provide a home for unique and isolated ecosystems. Their distinctive flora and fauna, cultural significance and environmental importance make them an invaluable part of our natural heritage. As we strive to protect and preserve these awe-inspiring formations, it is crucial to promote responsible tourism, scientific research and conservation efforts, ensuring that these houses of the gods continue to captivate and inspire future generations. Hidden Pyramid suggests the Mayans had direct contact with another civilization more than 800 miles away. Tikal is an ancient Mayan citadel tucked away in the dense rainforests of Guatemala. It was the ceremonial centre of an ancient city that once flourished between 200 and 850 AD. Archaeologists have often speculated that the early civilization was influenced by the culture of Teotihuacan, a Mesoamerican civilization and the region's most powerful kingdom at the time. Located over 800 miles away, the civilization was thought to have a presence in the Mayan city based on artifacts and inscriptions found in the area. With the use of new technologies, a recent high-tech discovery indicates that they were more deeply connected than archaeologists had originally thought. Thanks to a 3D image of the area created using LiDAR technology, a hidden pyramid has been found beneath an unassuming hill in the Tikal landscape. Buried beneath the earth for thousands of years, the lost structure does not resemble any of the city's surviving buildings. Instead, it has all the traditional elements of a Teotihuacan structure and resembles a miniature version of their classic citadels. 
Multiple excavations of the area reveal that the burial practices, construction, and the types of weaponry and ceramics found inside are all of Teotihuacan design. They found darts made of green obsidian, which is a naturally occurring volcanic glass formed when lava extruded from a volcano cools, was commonly used by the Mesoamerican civilization due to their monopoly on the obsidian trade and the major deposit located just outside their main city. Another discovery in the pyramid was an artifact that was decorated with symbols of the Teotihuacan rain god. This finding is significant because it completely rewrites the theories archaeologists had about the relationship between the two civilizations. It suggests that Tikal could have been an outpost of the Teotihuacan Empire. The research team determined the temple's construction began before the year 278. This would have been 100 years before the Teotihuacan people conquered Tikal, a significant event recounted in ancient Mayan inscriptions. Around the same time, a neighborhood in Teotihuacan decorated in elaborate Mayan murals and style was utterly destroyed and left in ruin. Archaeologists speculate that there was a breakdown in their once strong alliance and hope that further excavations will provide a better understanding of their shared history. A massive lake in Antarctica has vanished from satellite pictures. Overnight, an enormous lake in Antarctica has mysteriously vanished from all satellite images. A massive lake in the Amuri Ice Shelf in East Antarctica seemed to drain overnight, and researchers are left scrambling for answers. The lake was covered by ice for the majority of its existence until mid-2019, when the majority of the ice melted. During this time, the lake held somewhere between 600 and 750 million cubic meters of water. This lake held more water than the Sydney Harbour in Australia. To the shock and amazement of researchers and scientists around the globe, the 600 to 750 million cubic meters of water simply vanished. When the discovery was made, researchers began scouring through historical satellite images to find the exact date the water had vanished. Images provided by NASA were the main source of information used during this inquiry. While no one knows for certain how this amazing mystery came to fruition, the leading theory is that the water somehow returned to the ocean. The prominent hypothesis for how this occurred can be explained by the existence of ice shelves. The theory follows that at the bottom of the lake was a shelf of ice which served as a sort of plug drain for the lake. The ice shelf cracked under the mounting pressure of the water within the lake and when the shelf cracked, the water was released through the gap which flowed back into the ocean. Through extensive research, it was found that the lake went from being filled to entirely drained within three days. Roland Warner, who served as a leading researcher on the phenomenon, claimed, We believe the weight of water accumulated in this deep lake opened a fissure in the ice shelf beneath the lake, a process known as hydrofracture, causing the water to drain away to the ocean below. Members of the research team collectively agree that global warming may cause more ice shelves to break shortly. An excerpt found in the published study regarding the drained lake stated, Antarctic surface melting has been projected to double by 2050, raising concerns about the stability of other ice shelves. Since this astonishing discovery, the lake appears to be slowly filling back up with water. It has been theorized that the ice shelf froze back over which has allowed water to be retained in the once-drained lake. Scientists want to store DNA of 6.7 million species on the Moon A group of researchers have proposed what has been described as a lunar arc, which, if ever executed, would see vast amounts of Earth's genetic material stored on the Moon in case of a cataclysmic event planetside. Almost like a biological save state, the project would involve the creation of a vault to store and house material of Earth's 6.7 million species of plants, animals, and fungi. One of the head concept leaders on the project, Jekin Tanga, said the following, Earth is naturally a volatile environment. As humans, we had a close call about 75,000 years ago with the Toba supervolcanic eruption, which caused a 1,000-year cooling period and, according to some, aligns with an estimated drop in human diversity. 
Tanga is an aerospace researcher at the University of Arizona and pointed out that genetic material banks are already a thing here on Earth, such as the Svalbard Seed Vault in Norway. Yet these terrestrial banks could be jeopardized by climate change, conflict, or celestial events. Tanga went on to say that the risk factor actually defeats the purpose of these banks, and ensuring that there is a genetic arc on another celestial body, be it moon or planet, was vital. Though an exciting idea, this project would not be cheap, as it would require a significant construction project inside of our moon's hollow lava tubes. The walls of these tubes would help to protect the arc from environmental dangers as well as meteor strikes. The temperatures would also be useful for storage, as these hollow areas typically sit at around minus 15 degrees Celsius. Tanga is hopeful that we may seriously be able to consider the construction of such an arc in the next 30 years as space travel becomes more viable. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.